Repairs Universe bringing you another repair video today. Looks like we're going to be working on the LG G Flex D959 from T Mobile. In today's video, we're going to show you the steps necessary to remove and replace the display assembly on your G Flex. Before we get started with our disassemble, let's review our suggested tools small Phillips screwdriver, plastic opening tools, SIM card ejection tool. Fine tipped curved tweezers, precision knife set, iSesimo opening tool, a heat gun or a blow dryer. Let's take a look here at the new G Flex from LG with its curved body design. You're going to notice the obvious display assembly that's cracked thoroughly that we're going to need to replace here. Let's begin our entry into the G Flex with our trusty SIM card removal tool, or you can use a paper clip to pop out the SIM tray from the side of the phone. Let's bring our attention now to the rear cover. With the plastic opening tool, we can find the notch in the cover and pop free the first of several clips around the perimeter of the unit. And then work your way around the entire phone until the rear cover is fully removed. With our back cover removed, let's bring our attention to the loudspeaker in the bottom of the phone. The speaker is secured with five Phillips screws that we can go ahead and remove. And the speaker should be free to pop out at this time. Next, we've got our plastic protective cover that's over top of our motherboard. We have 10 Phillips screws securing that piece down. Let's go ahead and remove those. Let's now use our curved tweezers to peel up the connector for our power and volume buttons here in the center of the phone. And now the protective plate should be free for removal. We've got two connectors here that we want to free up. First being the battery connector. And then the next for our dock port that's located down at the bottom of the phone. The dock port connector has a small amount of adhesive that's securing it to the top of the battery. We used a little bit of heat from our heat gun. You can also use a blow dryer to soften that up to peel this ribbon wire up a little bit easier. At this point, it's up to you if you want to remove the battery. It's not totally necessary to replace your display assembly, although we like to get it out of the way so that when we're prying on our phone's display assembly, we don't cause any damage to the battery or its connector. To remove it, we used a little bit of heat from our heat gun or a blow dryer to soften up the adhesive first and then use the pry tool to get underneath the battery, followed with the spudger to break the rest of the adhesive. We can now work towards removing our motherboard, starting with the two coaxial cable connections here in the bottom corner. Our rear-facing camera is ready for removal after popping free its connector, as well as our front-facing camera here in the top corner. Our next connector is secured with a small amount of adhesive. It's recommended to use a little bit of heat, making peeling this connection up a little easier. Let's go ahead and release our other display assembly connection here. And then our last connector for our proximity sensor in the top corner. We can now carefully lift the motherboard out of the phone, being careful not to snag it on any of our ribbon cables on the way out. 
Let's use our curved tweezers to peel up our earpiece speaker from its housing. Our proximity sensor should come out of its housing pretty easily. Let's now pop free our two coaxial connections here on our dock port. And we have the display assembly that's secured with six Phillips screws, one on each corner of the phone, and then two in the center down the sides. Now we can bring in the heat gun or blow dryer to soften up the adhesive that's securing the display assembly to our framework. One to two minutes should suffice. With our adhesive softened up, we can now go in there with our pry tool and begin the separation of our display assembly from the framework, working ourselves around the perimeter and then using the continued use of the heat gun or blow dryer as necessary. With a little bit of patience, the separation is just a matter of time. With the two pieces separated, let's begin our preparation for our replacement part. Starting with the old adhesive on the framework, you're gonna wanna peel all of that off and remove any broken glass or debris that's left behind as well as the framework that's on the back of your old display. This is the framework that allows the display to be held with the six Phillips screws. You'll notice we removed it with just the simple use of our heat gun and a pry tool until we worked ourselves around the perimeter and it was completely separated from our display. All right, let's go ahead and start working towards the reassemble of our G-Flex here. Here's our framework with our adhesive strips already installed. You're gonna wanna follow the patterns of the original adhesive placement. You'll notice we left the gap down here at the bottom as well as up top for our proximity sensor, front facing camera, and earpiece speaker grill. We do send out adhesive strips free of charge with all of our replacement parts. You're gonna cut it to size and shape using a pair of scissors or your precision knife kit and install it accordingly for the installation of your new parts. With our framework complete, let's go ahead and start working on our new display by installing the metal mounting bracket onto the rear the same way it came off of our original part. You'll notice we've already installed adhesive strips onto our mounting bracket. We're gonna bring our original display and put it side by side to our replacement part to be sure we accurately install this bracket very similar to the way it came off. Don't forget to peel up the plastic cover that's protecting our LCD. And then we can peel up the protective covers for our new adhesive strips on our metal bracket. And now we can carefully align the bracket onto our new display using our old one sort of as a template, and then pressing firmly down on the bracket to secure it with the new adhesive onto the back of the part. With our new display ready to go, we can now peel off the protective covers on the adhesive strips on our plastic framework. We've got a small protective cover here for the front facing camera hole that we wanna make sure we remove. And we can now fish through the two display assembly ribbon cables. We can now set the top portion of our new display into the framework, working ourselves down the side until it's perfectly flush, and then onto the bottom until the entire display is flush and secure within the plastic housing. Flipping the phone over, you're gonna wanna see six holes that are lined up for that mounting bracket for your display assembly. And we can bring in those six Phillips screws 
and secure that frame back into place. Let's now set our ribbon cable down for our display assembly into its securing adhesive. Let's set our proximity sensor back into its housing here in the top corner. Next, we set the earpiece speaker into its housing. Let's set our motherboard down back into the middle of the phone, maneuvering it around our connections. And let's start with our connections here at the top at the proximity sensor. Our two coaxial connections here in the bottom portion of the motherboard. The first of our display assembly connections here on the side. Our second display assembly connection with the a small amount of adhesive. Let's go ahead and rest that down into place. We can now reinstall our rear-facing camera and then our front-facing camera here in the top corner. If you remove the battery, let's go ahead and reinstall it at this point, settling it back down in its housing and pushing down firmly on its connector. Here's our dock port connector and making sure we secure it back down into its adhesive. Let's bring in our protective plate for the motherboard. Secure the connector here for the volume and power buttons in the center of the phone. Reinstall the 10 Phillips screws that are going to secure this plate. And then we can clip our loudspeaker down into the bottom of the phone and secure it with the five Phillips screws. We're in the home stretch now, bringing in the back rear cover, clipping it down onto the phone and securing it all the way around the perimeter. And now you can power on the phone to check for full functionality. And there you have it, another successful repair by RepairsUniverse.com. All of the replacement parts and tools that you've seen in this video today are available at www.repairsuniverse.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.